Well, in the Christopher Clemens child murder trial, late today, jurors saw video of when detectives first asked Clemens if he knew anything about the sexual assault and murder of Maribel Gonzalez. The other issue in testimony today, did Christopher Clemens' cell phone place him where Maribel's body was found? Craig Smith joins us live where the trial just wrapped up for the day. Craig, what can you tell us? Well, you know, just before the break to the weekend, we saw video of detectives asking Clements about Maribel Gonzalez. He's wary, he's suspicious, he's unwilling to say very much, asking what brought them to him, which at this, at the time of this video was about three years after Maribel's body was found. He says, I didn't rape or kill anybody, and also says, I have two kids of my own, and I love them to death. If this girl is 13, as you say, I feel bad for the parents. Now, earlier testimony today covered what Clements' cell phone might say about the night Maribel disappeared. A passerby found Maribel Gonzalez's body in a remote part of Avra Valley, west of I-10. In court, an expert who learned how to track cell phones during years of police work told jurors what Clemens' cell phone reveals. Cy Ray went into business with software that shows phone movements on a map. These are images of Clements from earlier coverage. Cameras were not allowed in court. On the day Maribel Gonzalez disappeared, Ray showed Clemens' phone generally moving around Midtown. In previous testimony, Clements' now ex-girlfriend, Melissa Stark, described Clements leaving the house after an argument, returning about midnight, demanding bleach, taking her car to go get bleach, returning, then getting back in his car and disappearing until early morning. Stark said he was worried that she might have looked in his car trunk while he was shopping for the bleach. Cell phone expert Cy Ray says a little after midnight, his data, shows Clement's phone on the move again, eventually headed north-northwest, possibly up I-10. Then the movement slows down about 1245 or so, while the phone was connected to a cell tower that covered the part of Avra Valley where the body was found. But he said the tracking is not precise enough to pinpoint the location. Now, in testimony that continued into the afternoon, that cell phone expert said the tracking suggests Clements' phone moved up and down I-10 and the adjoining roads near it where Maribel's body was found. And at about 2.30 a.m., that phone shut down and disappeared from the network, was unable to be tracked at that point. He said it did not reappear on the network until about 6.43 a.m. It was back on the network near I-10, but now that phone was back here in Tucson. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.